Center Coast Living is a new lifestyle for some donkeys in Arroyo Grande. After suffering from abuse, neglect, or homelessness, a local couple is taking these animals in to live out their days. You know the phrase, stubborn as a donkey, but Jim Eckford says that just doesn't fit these animals. Rather, they're on donkey time, which sometimes you have to wait until they decide to do what they want to do. Eckford and his wife, Carlin, work around the clock to give these animals a safe, happy place to live. Good boy. The Eckfords fell in love with donkeys over 20 years ago when they rescued their first two. We knew that there were donkeys that needed homes and donkeys that needed safe places to be. Nearly two years ago, Rancho Burrow Donkey Sanctuary gained its 501c3 license as a nonprofit amid mounting costs to care for the ailing animals. Gracie came here as a neglected donkey with overgrown hooves that require ongoing care. This is what Gracie and her brother Henry's hooves looked like last fall when the Eckfords got them from a Creston ranch. It was very, very sad to see them just about lame, not, not able to walk very well. The pair still skittish, but the Eckfords hope these donkeys will soon gallop around the pasture with the rest of the pack. Tootie and Bella came here as a two-for-one deal. Tootie was rescued from a Texas slaughterhouse. Unbeknownst to the Eckfords at the time, she was pregnant. Little Bella popped out and was uh, born here. They're just some of the eight donkeys who live here, and the Eckfords anticipate they'll take in more. However, you can only handle so many. You know, it's uh, expensive, and uh, there's a lot of work involved. We're at it. 24-7. Rancho Burrow is asking locals to consider volunteering to care for these kind animals. They're also opening up the ranch to school groups so kids can learn about donkeys and share their passion for giving animals a better life. To give them a home and see them thrive is, is really heartwarming. Rancho Burrow appreciates donations, whether monetary or physical items like barn supplies. If you're interested in helping support the Donkey Sanctuary, we've posted information on how to get in touch with the Eckfords in this story on KSBY.com. Such a great story. You do it again. <laughs> you find something else out about the Central Coast we didn't know. I had no idea, and it's such a beautiful space out there, and the donkeys are so sweet. You can just tell. They're adorable. Who doesn't love donkeys? Right. Such a great volunteer opportunity. Maybe people will want to do that over the summer, and 